Hi, this is Meathead. Welcome to my channel and to a new video about time enduring series and movies that change your life. This episode is dedicated to The Million Dollar Man, a science fiction TV series aired from 1974 to 1978 based on the novel Cyborg by Martin Caden. A well done mix with between Robocop and James Bond, its plot deals with an Air Force colonel. Steve Austin, who suffered a life-threatening accident on a test plane crash and ends up seriously injured. The opening phrase, we can rebuild him, we have the technology, summarizes the basic idea of the show. Members of the government decide to replace the parts of his damaged body with bionic technology. He develops superpowers such as increased strength, speed, and bionic vision, just like American hero Superman. Basically, they had to invest $6 million to transform him into his robotic human being, therefore the title. And Austin takes advantage of his new acquired abilities by working as a secret agent for the fictional Office of Scientific Intelligence, OSI. If you'd like to know more about the cast that portray the most important characters of the series, then you've come to the right place. But first, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel for more content about classic series and movies. You just have to click on the subscribe button below. So, let's see what happened to the actors and actresses that appeared on the series. Come and join me on this countdown. This is Lloyd Bachner, a Canadian actor born in 1924. He started his acting career on radio programs at an early age and portrayed one of his most famous roles on The Twilight Zone. He even made a parody of it several years after in the comedy movie, The Naked Gun 2.5, The Smell of Fear. Lloyd appeared on series such as Bewitched, Hawaii Five-0, and Battlestar Galactica, among others. He had a prolific career working on TV shows. In the Six Million Dollar Man series, he played as three different characters. Sadly, he passed away of cancer at 81. Kurt Lowens, born in Germany as Kurt Lowenstein, portrayed several roles on the show. When he was young, he was sent to Westerbrock, a concentration camp in the Netherlands, during World War II. Luckily, he got released and spent the last years of the war hidden. Kurt became an active part in hiding and rescuing Jews. Later on, he migrated with his father to America, became an actor appearing in many productions including Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks, and died in 2017 at the age of 91. Jennifer Darling is best known as the actress who played the role of Peggy Callahan on The Six Million Dollar Man and its spin-off series, The Bionic Woman. Did you know she specializes in voiceovers for animated pictures? You can hear her in movies like The Little Mermaid, Tarzan, Beauty and the Beast, Lilo and Stitch, and many more. She also appeared physically in productions such as 80's Enough, Wonder Woman, and Mad About You. Paul Carr started his acting career in theaters and worked on many TV shows such as Get Smart, The Time Tunnel, Star Trek, and many more. He was also known as Bill Horton in soap opera Days of Our Lives and played as three different characters on The Six Million Dollar Man. He died of cancer in 2006. You are looking now at Jane Merrow, British actress portraying the role of Irina Leonova. She started her career in theaters and appeared in series as Danger Man, The Saint, and The Avengers. In 1969, she was nominated for a Golden Globe in the category of Supporting Actress for her part in The Lion in Winter, and lost it to Ruth Gordon, who played as Minnie Castavet in the famous Rosemary's Baby. Now is Bruce Glover's turn. He was born in 1932 and is best known for the role of Mr. Wynn in Diamonds Are Forever, a James Bond film. He appeared in many famous TV shows, including My Favorite Martian and The Dukes of Hazzard. You probably know his son best, actor Crispin Glover, who played as George McFly in Back to the Future, and also had important parts in Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle Movie, alongside Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu, and Tim Burton's version of Alice in Wonderland. Jack Colvin was an American actor born in 1934, known for portraying the role of Jack McGee in The Incredible Hulk, both the Aiden series and the movie. He was mostly a theater actor and became an acting teacher for different institutions. In the 60s, he big partnered with Yvonne Wilder to perform comedy segments in TV shows as The Dean Martin Show and The Ed Sullivan Show, and played several characters in the Six Million Dollar Man series. Colvin died in 2005. John DeLancey appeared in several episodes of the show playing as driver, medic, soldier, and Sergeant Chapman. Born in 1948, he is known for his part of Q in the Star Trek series, which he portrays since 1987. But you may have also known him for his role on Breaking Bad, where he performed as Don Margulis, Jane's father. The scene where he encounters Walter White in the bar is legendary. No spoilers, he has a really prolific career in TV, appearing in series such as Charmed, McGiver, and Law and Order. 
Before continuing with our countdown, let me remind you that if you like this video so far, you can like it by clicking on the symbol below. And now, let's see the lead characters and the main actors and actresses playing the roles. Portraying the role of Dr. Rudy Wells, Alan Oppenheimer was the second and not the last actor to play this part in the series. Apparently, he enjoys science fiction productions as he appeared in the 1973 classic movie Westworld, the Star Trek series including Star Trek, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager and more. He also has a prolific career in voiceovers, giving his voice to many animated characters in series and movies such as The Smurfs, He-Man, and The Masters of the Universe, The Transformers, and even became the narrating voice of the Neverending Story. Okay, so Martin Brooks played Dr. Rudy Walls after Oppenheimer, owning for many years the character that rebuilt Steve Austin. He even participated in the spin-off series The Bionic Woman, appearing in both simultaneously. Did you know he served in the US Army during World War II and was awarded a Purple Heart? Martin died in 2015 of natural causes. He was 90 years old. Lindsay Wagner played the part of Jamie Somers, Steve Austin's fiance. She too ends up seriously injured and, like, just like him, undergoes a procedure in which she receives bionic limbs. Originally, the character dies in the series, but due to its popularity, the producers decided to revive her and give her a spin off series, The Bionic Woman. Lindsay won an Emmy Award thanks to his character. A few years ago, she made an appearance in Grey's Anatomies as Alex Carev's mother for a few episodes. Farrah Fawcett portrayed three different roles in the series. She may not have been the one of the lead characters of the show, but there's no denial she was one of the greatest actors to appear on it. She became one of Hollywood's biggest stars in 1976 when she played as Jill Monroe in the Charlie's Angel series, even though she quit the role after only one season. She was married for almost 10 years with Lee Majors, who played as Steve Austin in the series. Fawcett died of cancer in 2009, the same day as Michael Jackson. This is Richard Anderson, who played as Oscar Goldman, Steve Austin's boss and friend. He participated in famous series such as Perry Mason, The Wild Wild West, Bonanza, The Love Boat, and many, many more. Oscar characters also appeared on The Bionic Woman. He had, overall, a prolific career both in TV series as in movie parts. Anderson died in 2017 of natural causes. Finally, we arrive at the icing of the cake, lead character Steve Austin, portrayed by Lee Mayers. His family background is a complicated story. Mayers never knew his dad, who died in a work accident a few months before he was born. He also lost his mother at a really young age, year and a half, and was adopted by his uncle and aunt. He achieved his fame before the $6 million man when he was chosen to play as host Berkeley in the Big Valley series, a role that Burt Reynolds also tried for. Colonel Steve Austin, Warner Brothers, bought the film's right to the Wasting Company in 2017 and they said it was going to be released in 2019. No one really knows what's going on with the production and if the film will eventually be released or not, but there's no denying it would be amazing to see a modern version of the series. All we can do is hope and wait. Mark Wahlberg would perform an amazing Steve, but which actor or actress would you like to see if given the chance to choose? Please leave your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching another episode of Meathead and come back soon for more content just like this.